So, y'all, you have the best of intentions. You've made your New Year's resolutions. You're going to eat healthier. You're going to do all of the things. You're going to lose the weight this year. You're going to, you know, reverse your diabetes. You're going to bring your blood pressure down. You're going to do all the things. So you sit down to make a list of healthy foods. You make a list of things you think you need and the things you know the kids will eat. And you go to the grocery store and you buy all of these things and you're so proud of yourself. You have a fridge full of a rainbow of fruits and vegetables and you're so proud for buying all of these healthy things and you think, okay, now what do I do? Hang tight, Mama. I'm going to get you from an empty fridge to a healthy meal over this four-part series. Welcome to the Lifestyle Medicine Project. If you're ready to finally commit to lifelong health, feeling better, and improving your mental and physical health for good, you're in the right place. Hey, I'm Jennifer Coble, a nurse practitioner, certified functional medicine practitioner, boy mom to three, and wife. I have a calling on my life to transform the way that you view and experience healthcare because I believe that traditional medicine is leading people astray. We don't need to give a pill for the ill. We need to empower people to have a true lifestyle transformation, both internally and externally, and most importantly, commit and be disciplined to the process. It's time for you to go against the grain to get to optimal health that is going to have you feeling incredible. I can't wait to create a true lifestyle change with you. Let's mandate vegetables and tackle this project together. So, y'all, life is overwhelming. And then we add New Year's resolutions and high expectations for ourselves after this leisure holiday. Maybe some of you have had leisure. Maybe some of you have had to work. I don't really know. My kids are just very leisure right now. They're living their best life. Anyway, life is so overwhelming sometimes. And then we add the stress of New Year's resolutions and other goals and expectations. And I mean, don't get me wrong, like, I personally feel super accomplished when I get my kids out the door with clothes and underwear on some days. I mean, do y'all feel me on that? So, with this four-part series, I want to help make your life a little easier and less stressful by sharing with you how I plan for my family's meals, and hopefully um, you can implement this same plan for the week and execute the plan. So y'all, seriously, stay till the end because I've got a little secret that I want to share with y'all. So here we go with the five steps. Five steps, okay? First one, y'all have heard me say it before and probably hear me say it a hundred more times. Get a calendar. Get a calendar. Personally, I use a paper calendar. I'm not that old, but I am old school because I need to write it down. So get a calendar, okay? Don't care what kind of calendar it is. Don't care if it's Walmart calendar. Don't care if it's bougie, Lily Pulitzer, whatever. Don't care. Personally, I use Christian Planner. You can get one at christianplanner.com. Um, but get a calendar. When you get your calendar, write down everything that is going on that week. Okay? Whether it's work, if your work schedule changes, Kids practices, kids games, meetings at work, church meetings, church socials, get togethers with friends, whatever it is, write it down and put a little block. Like if it's going to be an hour, you know, put like a little block and put it from eight to nine or whatever. You know, my youngest, my middle child has a basketball practice tonight from like 645 to 630 to 715. I don't even know. I got, see, I got to look at my calendar. I don't have it in front of me, but I put a little block for the amount of time. So I know that that time is blocked out. So write down the times these things are going to happen. Block it out on your calendar so visually you can see this. Then I want you to grab your spouse, your significant other, your support person, whoever it is that helps you with your kids um, and with yourself 
whether it's grandparents, aunts, uncles, whoever it is, that are going to help you get the little ones or the big ones, because I got a 14-year-old, he's not little anymore, from point A to point B. And I want you to communicate with this person what is going on for this week, okay? Like, my husband and I sat down uh, yesterday and kind of had to <laughs> grasp that we were going from nothing at all to a full-blown week of three basketball practices and four basketball games in a week. And, and it's hard. But anyway, so we communicated with one another on who was going to get who from point A to point B and who was going to um, finish supper, cook supper, or, you know, do whatever. So communicate, communicate. So the first thing, get a calendar. Second, write it all down. Write everything down. Communicate with your support person, significant other, spouse, whoever it may be. Now, decide which night, if any, if any night at all, you will have time to cook a full-on meal. Whatever that means for you. Whether it's putting something in the crock pot or, you know, sheet pan meal or... I don't know. Whatever it is, decide if you will ever have time to cook a full all meal. Now, so that was number four. Five, what nights do you don't, do you not have time and you need to have things prepared ahead of time, like chopped or, you know, pre-cooked where you just throw it all together, already cooked, or have a quick meal on hand, like breakfast for supper or a soup that you've frozen and put in the freezer or like I said a sheet pan meal okay so one get a calendar two write it all down three communicate with your support person significant other spouse four decide which night if any you will have time to cook a full on meal five what nights do you need to have things prepared already cook or have a quick meal own hand okay five steps y'all these sound super super simple but th this is super super simple once you get it put into place okay here is the big news y'all for six weeks this has been in the making for me to share from my heart to your kitchen a meal planning toolkit um I want you to go now to jennifercobel.com forward slash meal planning toolkit and download it, print it. I want to help plan your meals for the next week and help you save time and save money. Y'all, I'm telling you, this is a game changer. So the super cool thing about all of it is step by step. The exact step by step method that I use um, is in this meal planning toolkit. So you can get it for absolutely free by clicking on the link in the show notes or by going to jennifercobel.com forward slash meal planning toolkit. Download it now so you can get a jump start on next week. And y'all go ahead and subscribe to the show so you can catch parts two, three, and four and we can make it through the whole toolkit. So I'm super excited about the next three episodes. I hope that y'all have been blessed by this today and I hope y'all have a very, very wonderful, wonderful day. Happy planning. Bye-bye. Real quick before you go, if this podcast has blessed you in some way, the number one way you can thank me is to head over to Apple Podcasts and subscribe to the show and leave me a written review. Can't wait to hear from y'all.